I, Lise Moligo Gechohe, humbly stand before you as the first black African-born senator in the history of Australia. Yeah. I am deeply honored to be given the privilege of serving the people of Australia as a senator. I was born in the Kikuyu tribe of Kenya. One of the Kikuyu culture's tradition is with regards to marriage. When a man takes a girl for marriage, he pays dowry to the girl's family because the girl will now contribute to the prosperity of the man's family. Australia, you have taken a girl from Kenya. You may probably need to consider paying dowry. <laughs> God bless Australia. <laughs> Of course, as a Kenyan, you have to feel proud of uh, that moment. Good evening once again. This is Friday Briefing. And with me in studio is Senator Lucy Gishwe. Good evening, Senator. Good evening. I mean, I felt jealous. I wanted you to mention <laughs> something to do with Kenya, with Kenya because this is what you said in your maiden speech. Yes. You are a proud African Australian. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Or Kenya is taken care of by Africa. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Kenya is taken care of by Africa and Australia is a huge continent mm -hmm. with very, very multinational race. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have over a hundred uh, races mm -hmm. represented in any one city. Yes. So when I was thinking about it, yes, I would have said Kenya, but I was representing Africa mm -hmm. because I'm the first African senator, wow. so Kenya is taken care of. Congratulations. Actually, Thank in the beginning you. of the interview, I was tempted yeah. to start the interview by, you know, greeting you in Kikuyu. <laughs> uh, 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 is it Uhoro or Akuro? <laughs> Uhoro or Akuro? Okay, fantastic. So there are many people who are saying, well, yeah. uh, you're a senator in Australia. I mean, yes. You left your accent there, or this is how you normally talk? I normally talk like <laughs> this. I've always talked like this, uh -huh. and accent has never been... I was born with it. You are born with how you talk. Mm -hmm. Accent mm -hmm. is part of your asset or yeah. your unique attributes. Mm -hmm. So none of us talks like the other. Mm -hmm. So you should keep who you are, how you breathe, how you eat, how you start, how you position yourself, because that contributes to who you are. Fantastic. Yes. I mean, <laughs> those are very heavy words. So we're going to talk about your early life shortly. But yes. let's talk about you being a woman first, yeah. and then black, mm -hmm. and you're in these Western countries. Yeah. I mean, when even Obama was running for office, the yeah. likes of the current president, Donald Trump, were questioning his citizenship. You know? yes. They even came up with some fake birth certificates. Yes. So did you face this kind of you know, uh, problems there? You know what? One of the things I know mm -hmm. is identity politics has no place anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Time is up for identity politics. That time that you are given a post because you are a woman mm -hmm. or because you are a man or you're because of this tribe or that list or list, mm -hmm. we are now moving away from that. Mm -hmm. What we have is politics, professional politics mm -hmm. or politics of integrity. Yes. So even for President, Ob for Pre President Obama, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what you say. The birth certificate is there mm -hmm. to prove where he was born. So what does it matter that somebody spends all his energy pushing forward another theory? Mm -hmm. What we have stirred is what the records mm -hmm. and what is in the system. So you don't have to worry about what people say. Mm -hmm. Likewise, I didn't get my post because I'm a woman. Yes. I got that post because one, I was killed for it. Two, I was qualified. Three, I'm passionate to serve mankind. Mm -hmm wherever I fight them. Mm. So it doesn't bother me that somebody is thinking you are a woman, you are black. Mm -hmm. You know what? Doesn't matter. That's supposed you get only if you are qualified and you are skilled for it and you are passionate for it. That's the only way yes. you get mm -hmm. to, where, to do whatever you Senator are Senator Lucy, don't you think you being the first you know, uh, senator who has an African heritage in Australia. Don't you think that says a lot in how, you know, black politicians generally struggle in these Western countries? Actually, what is the number of the black in Australia? Do you how um, many are they? Number of blacks in Australia? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I can find out that, mm -hmm. but well, whole of Australia, we are talking of 
maybe 10,000 and mm. 10, I'm completely not sure about okay. that figure, Let's but talk, we, uh -huh. we, we can find out that. Of course, statistics. you are a senator, and, yes. and in Kenya we have counties, you know, that is where yes. senators represent. So how is it in, in Australia? Uh, it is states. Mm -hmm. We have a state, the state so of South Australia. So there's a state Australia. that you're representing? I represent the state of South Australia, uh -huh. yes. So how was it for you? Did you, like, I mean, you come from an independent uh, party. You know, in Kenya, those who form the independent party are those who are disgruntled, you know, people who've uh, lost <laughs> during the nominations. So yes. how is it for you? No, 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 no. I didn't start independent. Mm -hmm. I was actually... You had a political party? Yes. yes. I was nominated by a party, mm -hmm. Family First, and I was in that party, even though it was still a small party. Mm -hmm. So it is when I got in as a, as a Senate yeah. that this party decided mm -hmm. to merge with another party. Yeah. So I considered the policies of that other party. That is party. the Conservative Party. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I looked at it. I considered the leadership and the, cons and the policies of that party. And I thought, mm, maybe mm -hmm. because I'm so new to politics and so new to this position, yeah. I'm better off learning first. Mm -hmm. One, sit in the Senate as an independent and just get to access working with the ruling party, mm -hmm. working with the opposition, and working with other close benchers. Mm -hmm. We call independent close benchers. Yeah. So that is how I decided it's not time to hook up with another party. Mm -hmm. It's time to get there and learn more about par politics mm -hmm. from anyone I could find in that well said. Senate. Well said. Enough of party politics. <laughs> of course, we have a lot of that in Kenya as well. Let's talk about yes. the young Lucy, you know, your early life yes. uh, right here in Kenya. Mm. You were born in Nyeri, right? Yes. Can you perhaps talk us through on how your life was? Yes, yes. I grew up in a, a first born of, in a family of 10. 10. The first nine mm -hmm. were born within maybe 11 years. Mm -hmm. So every time in my family there was a small baby, I learned to take care of my siblings mm -hmm. quite early. And basically, there wasn't much material resources. Mm -hmm. There was actually just enough to feed us. But my, my parents, mm -hmm. uh, I lost my mother about five years ago. Yep. So my dad and my mother, they spent all their life just protecting us, nurturing, nurturing us, mm -hmm. and teaching us, mm -hmm. and developing. And dad was very keen on taking care of our self-esteem. So anything that came close to, you know, if he thought by us mingling with our cousins is going to affect the way we think of ourselves, mm -hmm. literally no such visits. We would go to the, we would, so he would send us to the factory to take coffee mm -hmm. and he would follow us mm -hmm. just to make sure that, you know, I don't know, we were protected. So your typical uh, girl who was raised up in, in Nyeri. In Nyeri, yeah. yes, yes, so, so Lulo Nyeri. Yes, now Lulo before, Nyeri. before you decided to cross over to Australia, did you start working? Did you enroll in school Yes, in Kenya yes, mm -hmm. I, I went to primary school, Herega Primary School, Kafirini uh -huh. Primary School. After that, I went to Mogoiri Girls. Mm -hmm. Then I went to... Still in Nyeri. No, Mogoiri Girls is in Mulanga. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Loak Girls, which is in Bodo, Kisumu. Yeah. And then I came to Nairobi University. Uh -huh. So after Nairobi University, I worked with Ernest and Young. I mm -hmm. was there for, I think, three years. Then I work, worked with Postbank. I was there for mm, maybe another three years. You are an accountant then? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. An accountant auditor. Yes. They are the same one and mm -hmm. the same thing. And then I worked with Action Need for one year mm -hmm. before leaving to join Madison Insurance, mm -hmm. where I was for about three years. At that point is when I left Austra Kenya. Australia came in calling. That was the year 19? Exactly. When 99. 99. 99. Now, from 1999 is when you went to, over to Australia. So yes, how February was your, how was your life there? Yes, February 1999. Well, mm -hmm. no change is easy. Yes. Every change, when you make a decision to change, you are making a decision to leave behind mm -hmm. everything as you knew it. Mm -hmm. Of course, you are building on the, your skills, mm -hmm. you are building on your experience, mm -hmm. but the in short, you are leaving your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So this is one time that we had a major, major shift in the way we think, the way we looked at life. Remember here, you, we, we were professionals. Me and my husband were working yes. and we were good professionals. But remember, we had house help. You had, you know, a lot of 
there's a lot of labor in Kenya. Mm -hmm. The difference between Kenya and Australia is Australia has extreme mm -hmm. shortage of labor. Yes. So all these helps by mm -hmm. the side mm -hmm. don't exist. So uh -huh. mm. I think your main message is also that life is not all that rosy in, in Western countries. Never. They, n there's nothing rosy. Uh -huh. If you are not succeeding in Kenya, don't expect to succeed in Australia. If you are not succeeding in the village, don't because you take yourself. You, you take yourself wherever you go. And so ethics, character, and values. This, and this brings about the immigration issues. You know, we have a yep. lot of black people who are dying in Libya. They're being made, turned into slaves because of, you know, all of them want to cross over, you know, cross Mediterranean over to, over, over to Europe. So what is your message to them as we... we My message is succeed mm -hmm. where you are with what you are doing. Mm -hmm. If you are in the village, succeed in the village. Look at your environment. Mm -hmm. Check what resources you have because they are there if you look hard enough. Mm -hmm. Accept yourself and ac accept your environment. So learn to succeed where you are. Mm -hmm. Once Learn to succeed in that job. Learn to succeed in that class. Mm -hmm. If you are succeeding, learn to succeed in the sport or in farming. If you can succeed in there, what you are doing, then you will take that success story. My message to anyone planning to migrate, never migrate without the light papers. Mm -hmm. Always make sure you have checked your papers with the embassy or the high commission. Mm -hmm. Don't trust an agency or whatever. Even though you are going through an agency, check because it's very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. Two, never give up what you value dearly. Mm -hmm. For me, I wasn't going to give up my family. And one of the criteria of me migrating is I have to be able, one, to take my husband and children mm -hmm. in that migration. Yeah. Two, I have to be very sure that I can come back mm -hmm. as and when I want. Mm -hmm. So, and three, I had to be sure that I can be able to do my job. Very, very yeah. wise words. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, yes. we're out of time, Good. Senator Lucy. I wish we could have had more time to talk. <laughs> All right. Thanks yes. a lot. That is okay. Senator Lucy Gishui, yeah. a Kenyan-born Australian senator. Which come to which uh, state do you represent again? South Australia. South Australia. And I live in Adelaide. Thanks a lot yes. for your input there. Mm. Of course, we're going to take a very short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Beautiful. This is KTN News.